What's going on, YouTube? Listen, I don't want to waste any time. You have been highly, highly, highly requesting this one. Yes, I know. Dax has dropped a brand new music video. So this right here is to be a man. One. I can't hide myself. I don't expect you to understand. I just hope I can explain. What it's like to be a man It's a lonely road And they don't care about what you know It's not about how you feel But what you provide inside that home Wow Yeah I'm not a human being I feel like a commodity It's not about me But what I provide Financially implied there I tell you what's different though is that obviously we know that Dax can rap, but lately it seems like he's been more immersed into this world of of singing, of creating these very emotive songs that just grasp you. And yet again, like look at the instrumentation, the choice here with the piano. Everything's very scaled back. There's nothing over the top at this moment in time. I heard a little bit of like a vocal sample in the back and makes like a uh, that they just put just to kind of add more atmosphere and space to it. But really. When you scale it back, you're going to rely on the strength of the voice of whoever is fronting it. And in this case, you know, Dax is singing as well. So he's really putting himself out there. But I'm coming to find the more that I listen to this Dax singing voice, like the more I really do like his tone. And there, there's a lot that he puts into it and a lot of emotion that you can connect with within each and every line. And this is an interesting perspective, starting off with a man obviously in the car crying, and then he's got to go in, see his little girl, and just put those tears away. You're not going to make me start crying. Come on. You know, it's not about how you feel, but what you provide inside that home. Yeah, I know this life can really beat you down. You want to scream, but you won't make us out. Got so much weight that you've been holding But won't show any emotion As a man that goes and spoken That we can't cry when Can't help but he still gotta apply Some of those like condensed rap rhyme schemes Into this singing right there With the O play right there the Emotion as a man that goes and spoken that Emotion as a man that goes unspoken Playing off of the O to O to O to What did I just do with my hands there? Let's just forget that that ever happened Can't cry when life gets hard Unconditional love for women, children, and dogs. <laughs> we know that we just have We're not cat people around here. It's only women, children, and dogs. Sorry, cats, you're fucked. Unconditional love for women, children, and dogs. We know that we just have to play our parts. And don't nobody give a damn about our broken hearts. Yeah. As a man, we gotta pave our way. Our only function is to work and slave. There's no respect for you if you ain't paid You're disregarded as a human and you can't complain And if you ever make it up and actually reach that base And find a woman that you love and give her your last name You'll feel the things that you provide is only why she stays And when you try to explain, you'll say I can't hide myself Wow I don't expect you to understand Definitely some interesting sentiments here from the perspective of being a man and feeling like the weight of everyone is on your shoulders especially when it comes to a family and you find a woman that you love and you feel like even in today's world you still have to be a breadwinner like you still have to earn you still have to provide and if you can't provide it's so emasculating because you feel like somehow you've failed and that's the thing, especially in today's world, like people lose their jobs, the economy turns, like there's so much shit that's out of our control. But a lot of times when that stuff spirals and gets out of our control, we take it personally and we take it as an attack against our characters and ourselves. So I, I get that sentiment. And, you know, as, as someone who uses my job to provide for my family, I feel a lot of extra pressure and stress and weight unspoken because, you know, what if, what if things do fall apart? It's all riding on me. That that's an immense weight and burden to carry. I don't expect you to understand. I just hope I can explain what it's like to be a man. 
of again everything's very like scaled back and like even there instead of him like stacking a bunch of layers and really letting i guess this hook like crescendo and rise up like it's still kind of dropped right it's still just his main track and i i hear a harmony of him going like higher da 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 but that even is like down in the mix it's not very loud so everything again is just scaled and i think he really wants you to pay attention and hone in on what he's saying and explain what it's like to be a it's a long As a man, our son is our horizon, and our father's actions play a role, and we end up like him. So they can wow, those are some different lines. You know, father's actions play a role, we end up just like him. You know, we try not to be like our fathers in terms of repeating the mistakes, especially if we've had rough childhoods. You know, if we've had it tough dealing with our fathers, you know, we don't want to emulate that when we're raising our children. We tell ourselves we'll be different, and then somehow you find yourself falling into the same patterns and the same routines because that is what you were taught as a kid. That's what was imprinted upon you. That's what you know. And then he's got a little bit of wordplay there with the sun, S-U-N on the horizon versus having a sun is our horizon. Like that's our hope. That's our future. That's our sunrise right there within our sons, within our children. And our father's actions play a role and we end up like them so they can let us see them hurt because we'll embody what they do and start a generational curse no wonder most men are so depressed all the things that they can't express they go to wow. war because we'll embody it we'll start a generational curse generational trauma because we then continue the cycle of the previous generation's trauma and everything that they went through and this is a thing that has been studied in psychology we talked about it within kendrick lamar when we broke down miss morale and the big steppers that generational trauma that can get passed on and it, it can be passed on through genetics and, and people that have been through just horrific situations like war, slavery, just awful crises that creates this sort of sense of displacement and this emotional disposition towards, you know, being easier to fall into depressive thoughts, being easier to fall towards anxiety and just feeling like things are wrong and having this sort of nature that almost works against you in a way. Very deeper concepts that, well... Maybe we'll make another video on one day. No curse, no wonder most men are so depressed. All the things that they can't express. They go to war, get thrown on the shelf, then go back to war with their mental health. Then grab that bottle and ask wow. for help. Try to pull themselves out of hell, then fall back. I like those lines too, you know, those going to war and then they suffer from the psychological trauma of war. So then now they're in a different war, even though that war is over and you feel like they should be safe. They're not. The, the real battle is really beginning in their minds now. And then realize that they're going to have to do with themselves. It's the circle of life as a man you provide. They don't know what you're worth till the day that you die. And that's when they start crying. Then move on to a man to confide in. That's why we feel we can't hide ourselves. We don't expect you to understand. That was an interesting shot. Don't care about what we know. Right there, Dax is actually in the room with him because at first you start up very close on him. You see him suffering and going through this angst and it's implied that he's alone. But really, Dax is almost like a fly on the wall, sort of an, an angel spirit in the background, like taking on board that pain and using that to mold and shape this song. So I love like he's in the foreground now, the focus is on him. And then you see that hyper blur in the background to really create that depth of field. And then he's on the left-hand side of the frame, whereas the blur shape of the man is on the right-hand side. Very cool shot right here. It's not about how we feel, but what we provide inside.
interesting song and concept. And honestly, I, I hope that the more that artists create songs surrounding mental health and trying to disrupt those stigmas related to mental health, the more that we can appreciate as men that it's okay to be vulnerable, that it's okay to, to admit that you're struggling, to admit that you're feeling pressure and, and stress and that you're struggling psychologically. Because, you know, I've, I've used this analogy before. You, you could take the strongest person in the world mentally, but give him a weight, right? He can hold that weight. Give him another weight. He can hold that weight. Give him more weights, more weights. And eventually, everybody has a breaking point. It could be right place, right time for that breaking point, and it's just too many pressures, too many stresses on the wrong day, and then a mistake or something happens. But if you pile too much weight on someone's shoulders, eventually everyone's legs are going to give out. And that's the best way I can equate sort of mental health, you know, and, and people have a tendency when they fall victim to mental health and to that disease to just fully blame it on themselves. But there's so many other circumstances and situations that contribute to it, whether it's within the world around us, whether it's how we were raised, the things that we consume, it's so many things that are not necessarily within our control. And it becomes so difficult because then we start blaming and we start feeling something's wrong with us because we're not okay and we have so many people relying on us but sometimes it's it's okay to be not okay we're not in this world alone we all need help and, and hopefully if you're going through it you have friends you have family you have people even professionals that that you can turn to to seek assistance don't try to go in at it alone get help if you need it very important song dax you were Knoxville certified. Hope you guys like today's video. Let's here at the end. Obviously, enjoy the content. Do me a huge favor. Support the channel directly. Yes, you are on the second channel, by the way. A lot more content, a lot more reactions on the way. Going to try to do some more different stuff on here. So stay tuned. I love you. I'll catch you again.